Hi, so I just want to share some verbiage that you might want to try when you sit down at a coffee queue. So when you find your location and you show up, and I'd really recommend you put out a coffee queue sign. You can print them off of the queue.org slash coffee website. Um, just so people that don't know you who were invited can easily find what table you're all sitting at. And then you just start off with, well, thank you everybody for coming. So here at Coffee Q is based on the unconference model where it's participant driven. So we're going to just kind of throw it out there to see what topics you want to talk about. And we're just going to kind of go from there. And so just kind of seeing what interests anybody. We don't have a predefined thing to talk about, but the purpose of this is to talk about what you want to talk about. So if there's anything that you've maybe read in an article that you'd like to share or a problem you're having in a classroom that you'd like to find a solution to or just anything pertaining to education that you're interested in chatting about, then that's what we're here to do. And then this is going to last exactly one hour. So at the end of one hour, even if the conversations are going really good, we're going to cut it off so that you're willing to come back and do another one because you know that you're only committing to one hour. So does anybody here have anything they want to talk about? I um, have a couple ideas, but I'll just kind of wait and see if anybody has anything that they'd like to talk about. And probably we'll end up bird walking and covering five or six different things, but let's get started. So hopefully that will help you when you go to host a coffee queue. It's fun and easy and a low commitment, so just pick a time, date, and location. Advertise it out on Twitter, Facebook, send out some emails, and just make it open to invite any educators. So, hope to see you at a, t at a coffee queue.